Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to a quick overview about my top five IDE that don't suck. Before starting, I want to say that in this video I've included a couple of maybe three of those are not properly considered IDEs, but are more like text editor or code editor. I decided to include them because all of those softwares are first are free and that is the most important thing ever. And second, they're full of extensions and plugins free as well that you can install and integrate to improve the functionalities and extend the functionalities of those text editor to convert them into properly fully functional ID. And it's awesome. So let's get started. Number one, we have Lighttable. Lighttable is not really well known. It's probably not really adapted or used by mostly developers, but it's completely open source, it's free, and it was one of the most successful Kickstarter campaign ever. It's based on web technologies, it's completely open, scalable, and has a lot of built-in functionalities that are really helpful for developers. It comes in different versions for all the operating system, and if you're still stuck with Notepad++ or the awful Dreamweaver, I strongly suggest you to check that out. Number four, we have Adobe Brackets. So this ID was my first choice a couple of years ago, was my favorite ID, was my daily drive, basically going everywhere, every day using that ID. I decided to stop using it when Adobe decided to not fully develop that software anymore. Before it was a monthly release, it was a lot of updates, a lot of extensions. Now they found out that the, the team, it's way better than the team that coded Dreamweaver for the past 20 years. So they decided to integrate that team inside Dreamweaver and they will try to fix that awful software that it's called Adobe Dreamweaver. But because of this transition, now the release update, the release schedule of Adobe Brackets is like one every six months, a new version every six months, and it's not really supported anymore by Adobe. And I'm not seeing that uh, this program going on as much as it was before, but I'm still suggesting this software because it's a fully functional code editor. It's really light, it's compatible with all the operating system, and also as well, you have a huge repository of extensions and plugins that you can install for free to extend the functionalities of this software. Of course, because it's fully open source and it's built in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I'm really hopeful that someone really smart and really willing to invest some time will pick it up and will continue because it's an amazing software that achieved a lot in a really short amount of time. And number three, we have Cloud9. So Cloud9, it's an online service. I know that, but they have this amazing IDE that has everything, has debugging, inspection, terminal commands, uh, folder structure, FTP, it's everything in the cloud. So you cannot physically install it in your operating system, but this will remove whatever issue you will have with a specific standalone application for, for example, only for OS X or only for Windows or not compatible with Linux. Cloud9 will give you the ability to code in your browser in whatever operating system. Also in a Chromebook, you can have Cloud9 use through Google Chrome, and this is amazing. It's a really fully complete IDE, and it's really powerful, it's really light. I'm suggesting this IDE and position three because it comes with a lot of functionalities to code collaborate with people around the world. You can add users to your code, you can make them join your current coding session, and you can code together like a shared Google Doc. Of course, if you want more functionalities and you wanna have private workspace, you have to pay a monthly fee as a subscription system, but you have also the opportunity to use it completely for free. And if you're studying, if you don't really know what's, what's an IDE, why you should, try to understand the IDE process and why you should try to switch from an application to another, Cloud9, it's a really good starting point for you to understand what an IDE should have from the ground point. 
And number two, we have Sublime Text. Sublime Text, as I said before, is not a, a, an ID from the installation. When you install the package, it's really a bare bone code editor. But of course, uh, like all the other software that I said, comes with a lot of extensions and plugins that you can integrate for free. And a lot of those are on GitHub, so you can actually check the source code and maybe code your own extension. And Sublime Text is really powerful, it's really lightweight. And one of the cool thing about Sublime Text is the ability to open system files like protected system files, update them and save your system password to constantly update those files without encountering some permission issues and this is really great. And to conclude this list and number one of my choice of my top free ID that doesn't suck is GitHub Atom. Atom is a pretty new ID, or I should say code editor as well. It's a pretty new software that they released completely for free. And before version one was really crappy, really buggy and not really useful. Now after version one, they polished it a lot and it's getting more and more tractions from the community and the user that they're creating some specific custom options, extensions and plugins to extend the functionality of this really lightweight and amazing ID. So, in my opinion, if you're starting from scratch, you have no idea which ID you should use and you don't really want to go with a proprietary one like Dreamweaver or Ascode or even Android Studio or something like that, you should totally check Atom. It's really barebone at the beginning, it looks like something is missing, but it's just because it's so scalable that it will give you the opportunity to install whatever you need. So you have the ability to install whatever extension and plugins to adapt this code editor to your needs. Doesn't matter if you want to build some web application or some native application for iOS, Android or whatever operating system you want, you can totally do it. You can adapt your system, you can adapt your code editor to accommodate all those specific unique pieces of code. And that's it. This is my list of my top favorite five free ID that don't suck. And which ID are you using? Are you using just a simple code editor like Notepad Plus or you're stuck with Dreamweaver just because it comes with integrated with the Adobe CC subscription or you have one favorite ID that I didn't consider and I didn't include it here. Let me know in the comment below and I will try to check all the software. I'm always curious to see the evolution or what a user, a developer feels uh, that it's it's good, it's a good idea, it's a good software where a developer uses every day to code their own application. Thank you so much guys for checking this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.